A few days ago, I was shopping on Amazon for a new VGA to HDMI converter for my Sega Dreamcast. This one right here is what I currently have for several years, until recently my TV doesn't seem to detect any signals from it, even though the light comes on. So I took it apart to see if there was something wrong with it, but nothing. I concluded that it probably stopped working. I went on to Amazon to buy another one of these, but alas, they were unavailable. So I had to find another device, so that means I have to research on what I come across. A little side note, every time I shop on Amazon, I always do research before I order anything. Sometimes it would take me all day to come to a decision. So anyway, I found these two during my shopping. So I took a look at them. One is well known and is talked about in several videos I saw, and the other one is not well known. I've looked up the name of the company that made it, but I haven't come across any videos of it, so I guess I'm the only one so far. These two have decent reviews, so I thought maybe I could give them a try for myself. I was gonna buy only one, but then I thought, screw it, I'm gonna get both and try doing a comparison video and give you my thoughts on which is superior. So without further ado, let's open these up and take a look at them. Alright, so I've opened up the packages these two came in. Oh, and now just to let you know, this one came in a box. I just took it out of it. So right here on my desk, I have two devices to compare. One is an HDMI adapter from a retro gaming company called Kaiko, and all they sell are similar devices for other retro consoles like the GameCube, the PlayStation 2, the Sega Genesis, the Saturn, etc. The Kaiko adapter has a very nice metal feel to it, and I think this black dot is the light. And since this is an adapter, it comes with no other cords. You just plug it into the Dreamcast, plug an HDMI cord to it, plug the HDMI to your TV, and you're good to go. The next device is a VGA to HDMI converter, and it's made by a company called Jitech, I hope I said that right, where they sell mostly security cameras, webcams, and stuff. But they do sell other things too, like splitters and extenders and all that. They even have a variant of this device, which is the opposite, HDMI to VGA. So I'd make sure that I got the VGA to HDMI version. And I did, as you see here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to boot up my Dreamcast, and I'm going to use either one or two games. I'm going to let these devices do their thing, and later on, I will give you my thoughts and compare the quality and the sounds. So without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Hey! 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 
Alright, I hope you enjoyed that comparison. And now for my thoughts on these devices. I'll say that these two did a great job capturing footage from these two games that I've used, and the sound is very top notch. Now in the Gitech version, you'll notice that the screen is shifted to the right, which is my right, or your right in your view. The next two things you'll notice are the vertical lines and small white lights flickering on the screen. They're noticeable on my TV screen, but they're still noticeable through my Elgato if you look closely. Meanwhile, on the Keiko version, there are no vertical lines nor flickering lights on the screen. Not on my TV and not through the Elgato. And you'll see that the screen is also centered, unlike the Gitech version. So I'd say, in my opinion, the Keiko version captured the gameplay perfectly, much better than the Gitech converter. And you'll notice that the audio on the Keiko version sounds slightly louder than the audio on the Gitech version. I'm not sure why, but it does. So if I'm looking for an upscaler, converter, or an adapter for my Sega Dreamcast, I would choose the Keiko HDMI adapter, because as I said before, it does capture gameplay perfectly in my opinion, without any vertical bars or flickering lights on the screen. Although your mileage may vary, and so will your opinions, and I'm fine with that. So it's up to you. You can either get the Gitec VGA to HDMI converter, or you can get the Kaiko HDMI adapter for the Sega Dreamcast. Or both, it's up to you. Both devices are very affordable, as they cost around $30. So I'd say get both of them if you want to see for yourself, and enjoy strolling down memory lane enjoying some of your favorite Dreamcast classics on your modern television. Both links to the converter and the adapter will be in the description. And again, if you're getting the Gitech, select VGA to HDMI and not HDMI to VGA. Nothing will be detectable if it's the other way around. It's confusing, I know. But be sure to select the right version, and you're good to go. If you can tolerate the screen shifting to the right, and the vertical bars and the flickering and all that. But if you don't want all that, then get the Kaiko adapter. Again, both are very affordable, and it's up to you. And with that, I'll end it here. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe for more, and until next time, stay fabulous!